Welcome to TBYT TV, in which we get weight loss motivation from biblical scriptures. Today's focus scripture is Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, which reads, And God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of all the earth, and every tree whose fruit yields seed. To you, it shall be for food. Now, just in case you thought that I perhaps forgot that I've covered this scripture before, I decided to revisit it now that we've talked about Genesis 1, 26 through 28 about how God, when he first spoke the words concerning man, the first thing that he did was gave man an identity and that we were created in his image and according to his likeness. And then secondly, he gave man authority in which he said, I have given you dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, over the cattle, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. And then thirdly, he gave man responsibility in that he told mankind to be fruitful and multiply to fill the earth and subdue it. And then after that, the fourth thing that he said concerning man was what man was supposed to eat, which is our focus scripture for today. So now that you've seen the things that God spoke before he talked about food, that also helps us to see that our priorities should be on our identity, our authority, our responsibility, and then to view food in light of that context. Now let's go ahead and look at the types of food that God initially told man that he was to eat. And these are all plant-based foods. Now, as I've mentioned before, later on, he gave man permission to eat meat. But firstly, he said plant-based foods. And if you Google healing foods, then you will see all of them. And I did that this morning myself just to check, but all of them were plant-based foods. So if you're having issues with your health, if you're lacking energy, if you're lacking vitality, or if the doctor has diagnosed you with any specific illness, such as heart disease or diabetes or any such thing, then the very first thing that I would recommend that you look at is your diet. What are you eating? Are you eating largely foods that are in line with this original prescription in Genesis 1.29? Because God, as the designer of our bodies, knew what would be, work best within our bodies. And this is it. So if you want to experience maximum health, then you need to eat according to the designer's recommendations. So your action step this week is I want you to Google healing foods and I want you to examine the foods that come up and then print out a list of these healing foods and then look at the diet that you're currently eating and ask yourself, am I including foods like these in my diet? Because if you're having health challenges, then one of the smartest things that you can do, one of the wisest things that you can do is start including more healing foods in your diet. Now, I always say, a lot of people say, okay, well, what about the exercise? Well, just think about this, and this is how I think about it. Our lives are quite busy. And let's just pretend for example, that you have a car that you're um, entering into the Indy 500. And that car, you've been putting sugar in your tank. And you're expecting that car to perform well at the Indy 500. Well, it's not going to because you haven't been putting the right fuel into that car for it to run properly. So it's the same way. Our lives are so busy. We've got so many obligations that we have to fulfill and we have to be sure that we're putting the right fuel in it. Otherwise, we're expecting our bodies to perform with inferior fuel. 
So that's my recommendation. That's the action step for you this week is simply Google healing foods and look at that list and start asking yourself, how can I include more of these types of foods into my diet? And I guarantee that you'll start performing better in your life and in your day. God bless you. Thank you.